Two-year-old Aisha and her classmates at the local mosque in the far eastern Siberian city of Chita listen carefully to their teacher as they learn the basics of Islam. For local Muslims, however, some Chita residents are more equal than others. For the past several months, security forces and city police have subjected the city's 14,000-strong Muslim community to special scrutiny. Chita Muslims say searches of their homes and mosque by armed, masked men have become routine. During one search, security officers found a package wrapped in black tape they claimed was an explosive device. They arrested Imam Musa Kamurzoev for illegal possession of explosives and seized the mosque's computers, saying they were looking for evidence of terrorist plots. Law enforcement officials later described the raid as a successful crackdown against an Islamic extremist cell, with local TV broadcasting footage of Muslims at the mosque. But no evidence was presented linking the Muslim community to extremist activity. Kamar Zoyev remains in custody. Other Chita Muslims have also been detained in recent weeks. They say they are often violently harassed by police before being released without charge and with no explanation given for why they were seized. Russia's FSB security agency also took Muslim teenager Andrei Nikitinko in for questioning. Neither a lawyer nor his parents were present while he was interrogated. Он мне сказал, если бы у нас в Чите была такая ситуация, ну, допустим, начались бы боевые действия между мусульманами и русскими, да? И вот то, что я русский и мусульманин, на чью сторону бы я встал здесь в Чите, он мне сказал. Police patrols have increased throughout the city, and bomb detectors are used to conduct sweeps of entire neighborhoods. Local websites and chat rooms are filled with anonymous anti-Muslim comments like they may blow up something, and we've had enough already. The Muslims are blowing up innocent people. Chita has no history of extremist violence, and the city's Muslims and Orthodox Christians have long enjoyed a peaceful coexistence. Chita authorities refuse to talk to Radio Liberty about the issue, but many city residents have expressed concern about the crackdown on their Muslim neighbors. Alexander Machalov, a former law enforcement officer and the editor of a military Christian newspaper, said he is planning to publish an article about human rights abuses in Chita and will use the recent pressure against the Muslims as an example. Все, кто живут в России, они должны иметь одинаковые права и никак не делиться по отношению к религиозной конфессии, там, по каким-то признакам. То есть закон должен быть один для всех и не должно быть одной конфессии выше другой. Muslims continue to go to the Chita Mosque, despite their concerns that any provocation could lead to an even more severe crackdown. Believers say it's all in the hands of Allah, but they are still living in fear, worried what may happen next.